Thanks for joining us on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. It is time for our big tree lighting right here at the Ken Dita Civic Center. And a lot of fun comes with that too. So let's take a look. are now here with Corey Linder. We're getting ready for the big Christmas tree lighting tonight, Corey. And I know there's going to be so many things going on here at the City Hall at the Candida Civic Center. So tell us about some of them. Uh, there's going to be a whirl whirlwind of events that are going to be happening. Not only the skating rink, which is uh, our, our synthetic ice rink, um, that's going to be kind of our anchor. Um, but beyond that, there's going to be other things for the kids or families to do, such as uh, the bouncy houses, the crafts. Uh, we're going to have different theme nights. Um, there's just going to be a lot of go stuff going on. Especially for the next few days. And then we want to remind everybody that after Christmas, after the 25th, so really the 26th through the 31st, every single day there will be something else new going on. Correct. We'll have movies. We'll have a, a mini concerts. Uh, again, just more theme nights, uh, different food trucks, different, just different uh, a, a frozen uh, night for the kids and the skating. Uh, it, it, there's just going to be a lot to do, and it's, it's going to be a good time. So when you're home from school and you want something to do, just remember to come down to the Candida Civic Center. What do you like the most about the holidays, Corey? Uh, I, I like doing these kinds of events. Uh, it's fun getting everybody together. It kind of brings me back. I've been doing this for 35 years. So it's 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 like uh, this is what I got started doing. it, And so helping out and working these events, and uh, it kind of brings me back. It's like, okay, I, I picked the right career. You, you, <laughs> sure. you know, people always ask when they look at a Christmas tree like this, where do you get trees this big? We actually stayed local. We went with uh, DeLuca's down in uh, San Pedro. Okay. And uh, so we've been working with him the last couple of years. Nice, very nice. I know everybody always wants to know, where did you get your Christmas tree? Where did you get your Christmas tree? Very good. That's a, it's definitely a feat, too. It's about three feet in the ground, uh, just to make sure. Last night and this morning was a great test of uh, wind resilience. Uh, so it came out okay. I am with the very festive, always festive, Mayor Barbara Ferraro. I love the sweater. It's Thank it's you. It's lit up. and. We are getting ready for the lighting of the Christmas tree and celebrating the holidays. Yes, indeed. And it's always such a wonderful time of year. It's cool, but not cold yet. And it's um, festive and everyone seems happy. Although right now, probably everybody's in a rush to go somewhere. Right. No. It's very true, but I love the fact that this has become really now an annual event and really really a part of everybody's holiday season to come here to the Kendita Civic Center and be a part of this tree lighting, which is so exciting. Yes, and this is our 50th anniversary year because RPV has been in existence for 50 years this Christmas, and it is hard to believe, but it's wonderful. And we've now got a new tradition with the Christmas trees and the lighting of the tree later on tonight. And so we just and we just want to wish everyone a very merry and joyous Christmas this year. Absolutely, and I know that in addition to the tree lighting, we've got hot chocolate, we've got a ice skating rink out here, we've got um, a place where you can get into a snow globe this year and take a picture. Oh. Cool. I can't wait. <laughs> I know that sounds like such fun. Yeah. So yeah, they're gonna have a lot of events going on, and th the city really always goes out for the residents. And it, it, why is that so important? I think it's very important because it it gives you a sense of belonging, and it's very special that we a uh, special place that we live in here. And um, we try and do things for our residents. It's, it's really a small community in a big metropolis. Right. Now, what is your favorite thing about the holidays, Barbara? Decorating the Christmas tree. There we go. And is yours up yet? Not yet. Okay. But you have a little time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, soon. Very good. One year, my brother was in Vietnam. And we left the tree up until March. Aww. And 
That was a special year. Very special year for sure. Well, there's so many different traditions and family memories that people have, of course. And like you said before, it's just such a fun and festive time of year for everyone. I think everyone has that holiday spirit in their heart. Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us, Mayor. We're going to be excited to have you flick on the switch and light up the tree. Last year, do you know, I had to do it because um, the mayor wasn't here. I know. And I got several kids, and we counted down right. and flipped the switch. Yes. So I'm hoping we can find a few kids to help me count down again. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll look for some out here and make sure that they're there with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to miss, wish everyone a very, very Merry Christmas. I'm here with the city manager, R. Moranian, and we are talking about it's festive, it's chilly, it's Christmas. It, it, the holidays are here. There is no hiding from it. it. If all of this decoration isn't proof of it, I don't know what is. Such a, a nice annual event now, a, a tradition to have the tree lighting here at the Candida Civic Center. Why is this so special and important? It, it has become a tradition, and I think it's something that is was long overdue for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes with our 42,000 residents. It, it's a time that we all come together and we bring people to the Civic Center. We have the tree lighting and, and the skating in the park, and it's just a great way to kick off the holiday season. And I know this year you've got lots of other things happening. In addition to the food truck, the hot chocolate station, we've got a globe behind us where people can actually take a picture inside. So what the a great famous globe. It, it, the, this globe was here last year, <laughs> and we have a lot of stories about this globe. And it's back for 2023. It's going to be so much fun. We've got jumpies for the kids. And I know that in addition, uh, this weekend will be very busy. But then yeah. after the holidays, after Christmas, the entire week, every single night, you're going to have a movie night. Yes. An 80s night. Yes. It's going to be so fun. We we have we're trying to uh, put a twist to this whole event, and and the recreation park staff with Corey and Dan and Emily and Kedrick and their whole leadership has been. They've been so creative in trying to find more than just the skating in the park, yes. but more reasons for the public to come out and spend some time here in this beautiful lawn area with that that amazing backdrop there of, of the ocean and the sunset. And and so yes, we've got we've got the '80s night. We're gonna have a, a band here. We're gonna have a movie night. And so there'll be more than just skating. Um, there'll be a lot more entertainment and things to do. I think it's so important too because during that week between Christmas and New Year's, everybody's home from school and a lot of families have time off from work. So what a better place to come but here every night to do something fun. Absolutely. You got to get out of the house, close that refrigerator door, stop getting into the leftovers and come out and move around and be a part of your community, meet your neighbors, spend some time together and, and just have a joyful season. 50th anniversary we're still celebrating and everyone loves coming out to the Kendita Civic Center to do something fun now. A absolutely I, it's 50 50 years we're, we're 50 plus three months into it so yes yeah. All right we are here with Councilman Paul Seo and we were just talking about all the festive fun things that we do during the holidays and you just shared with me that you have your Christmas tree and you just put the lights up on your house. We did so after our Thanksgiving meal we went out the next day to put up all the lights and I wanted the kids to have a nice tradition I didn't have it as a kid, so I wanted to make sure they have good memories going forward. So. That's good. Now, what kind of a tree do you get? I get a Douglas fir, a six, six and a half footer. Ooh, yeah, so it's nice, nice. Uh, nice and clean. Uh, it's beautiful looking, so uh, we love it. it. Yes, those are always the best. Now, this has been such a fun tradition here, right here at the Candida Civic Center, to have the tree lighting here in Rancho Palos Verdes. Why is it so important to do this for the community? I think having community events where everybody gets together, especially this day and is digital and everybody just seeing pictures, having physical presence, seeing each other rubbing elbows at an event like this, I think it's a beautiful thing. And my hat's off to all those guys that uh, help prepare this event. Um, and hopefully we can continue this event year after year and everybody yes. comes out and supports it. And it's great because, I mean, in addition to the tree lighting, there is an ice skating rink and a big snow globe over there and jumpies for the kids, really something for everyone. There's definitely something for everyone, and I think I'm going to try out the, the ice skating rink, <laughs> but, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll be out there for that one, that's for sure. And I know that in addition, between Christmas and New Year's, this is going to be every night there will be an 80s band, there'll be a movie night, so bring everybody out and just celebrate the holiday. 
please do. Please bring everyone out, support us so that we can do it every year yeah. and we can justify it so that the community can come out and enjoy each other's company. We are here with Councilman Eric Alegria and Christian and you guys are out here for the annual tree lighting. Are you guys in the holiday spirit already? Oh, I'm so fired up and in the holiday spirit. I can't believe it's December already, no, first of all. Yes. But second of all, yes, third time we've done this. Yes. So excited, it keeps getting better folks, especially the quality of the ice is even better this time this year. So I'm really excited for people to come out, yes. try it out, come out and enjoy the festivities and all that's going on. Now, in addition, we're gonna have a movie night between Christmas and New Year's, an 80s night. There's gonna be hot chocolate and food trucks. It's gonna be fun. What do you think is gonna be the most fun? Ice skating. Okay, the ice skating. So everybody needs to come out and participate. That's, that's right. Come to any of our events. Come out and enjoy, be part of the community, Absolutely. see one another. Yes. It's just our time to come together. And the holidays are a particularly special time in the city of RPV. And I think because everybody came out for the 50th anniversary events, I already see a lot of people here tonight. I think people are used to coming out now. I, 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 that's what we want. Yes. This is a new tradition right. that we instituted three years ago. I'm very proud of that. That's right. And uh, our council is just continuing to support activities that can bring people out together and ice skating just one of those. And there's many others, of course, as you mentioned. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. Now, what's your favorite thing to do at the holidays? Oh, uh, well, eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> spend, yeah, well, spend quality time with the family, of course. We have a tradition in mid-November, actually, even before Thanksgiving, we put up our tree as a family. So that's one of our big traditions. So love doing that. That kicks off the whole six or seven week holiday period. A uh, lot of Christmas movies being watched right now. So lots of great traditions in our family and I'm sure in every family for all of you. Yes, very good. Well, thank you guys for spending a few minutes with us and um, I'm sure we're going to see you over the next couple of weeks. Well, happy holidays, everybody. Yes. Happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. Thank you. All right, we are here with Mayor Pro Tem John Cruikshank and it is the tree lighting. This is always so much fun. Such a great tradition for everybody in Rancho Palos Verdes. Why is this so important for the city to do events like this? Look, I mean, we're at the end of the year and we're right into the holiday season right now. And everyone loves a Christmas tree when it's lit. And uh, just saying, hey, we're, we're, in, we're into the holiday season. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and all that good stuff. So, no, we, we love the Christmas tree lighting. And, of course, there's other events going on for the kids as well. So many events, in fact, this year, uh, between Christmas and New Year's, we want to invite everybody to come out because we're going to have a movie night, an 80s night, and in addition, there's an ice skating rink, so it's going to be a blast. While you're home from school, come back out here. Well, I hadn't heard about the 80s night, so now I'm pretty excited about that. I'll definitely be back, although I always tell people I'm not skating. There's no way. I think we're going to have to get them out in the rink now. Uh, no. I, I, although they have those things that you can hold on to. I might do that, but unfortunately I have very f wide feet, so skates do not feel good on my feet. Well, you could go over there to that snow globe. I know you're, I know you're oh, a pro boy, at that. That's in the background. Yeah, last year uh, council member Bradley and I were in that snow globe, and he was bouncing around pretty good. I told him, hey, take it easy. I'm getting a little seasick. <laughs> you, were, you were trying to save the day, I know. No, we had some fun. Yes, we always have fun. Well, uh, you know, there's some people on our city council that are a little more fun uh, than the average council member in and about. So he, he's great, though, Dave, he, in the pie eating contest and all the things we do together. Really, I think that you bring, you guys all have brought the fun out because at, there's so many events here in Rancho Palos Verdes. And look, at there's already a crowd. No, I mean, you're right. It, when we first did this, you know, nobody knew. And now I came out and I was not even the first one here. Uh, and all the council members were already here, too. So I was running late. But, no, it's great seeing the crowd out here and the kids. And, and they're getting excited about getting in, into the ice rink, I guess. Yeah, so what's your favorite thing about the holidays, John? Well, okay, so the so as anyone that um, lives in Rancho Palos Verdes, they know there's a million things to do uh, during the holidays, and just reconnecting with people and and taking a little a little bit of time to hear what's what's going on with them and their family. That that's important to me. Are we ready now? We're we're, we're getting there. Okay, so now it's my pleasure to officially declare the skating season open and light up this beautiful tree behind me. You ready to go? You guys ready? All right, All right everybody. Okay, we're going to do a countdown. Countdown. Okay, here we go. In three, two. Okay, we'll start at five. Five, four, three, two, one. Merry Christmas. What a treat.
tree and what a night for skating. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you all for being here tonight. Please enjoy yourself. Enjoy skating, food, crafts, and great having you here. Happy holidays, everyone. We are now with Councilman Dave Bradley. And Dave, the tree is lit and the season is officially kicked off. It's exciting to be here once again for the third annual uh, ice skating and uh, tree lighting ceremony. I mean, we actually have three trees lit. I mean, we have our traditional Christmas tree, but then we have the Rancho Palos Verdes Christmas palm Which tree. My favorite trees. Right. Uh, which are kind of a, a little uh, island uh, Jimmy Buffett-ish. So you have a little bit of both. You know, this is this event as you can see has grown exponentially I think everyone's used to coming to the Candida Civic Center now yes and uh, the uh, Parks and Rec department has done a phenomenal job on putting up the skating rink uh, our first year we had a little bit of a problem getting it level yeah. so there was a lot of people in one corner right. they kind of like <laughs> fell downhill uh, this year the platform I think is completely level it looks like people are out there having a good time yeah. Um, it's just a phenomenal place to come out and do a little ice skating uh, and share a little bit of the uh, spirit of the season. I noticed the hot chocolate and the coffee line is long and we've got a food truck and just so much fun things to do. Exactly. Um, it's actually not as cold out here tonight as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's been colder in the past, so a beautiful evening to come out and uh, kick off the season on uh, December 1st. And wouldn't it be great to come out here and get a picture taken with this tree for your Christmas card? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, if only my children were in town. But yes, unfortunately they're both off at college, but they will be back soon uh, because they know where Santa lives. That's right. And you know what? We are going to be here through Christmas through New Year's. Every night there's going to be something fun to do. So yes. please come out and celebrate the holidays with us right here at the Candida Civic Center. What is your favorite thing to do about the hol with, uh, during the holidays? Uh, getting together with friends and family. It means so much to me, my family, to be able to come together, especially when people are dispersed over the country and over the world, to be able to really come together but for the holidays and um, renew those, um, those relationships. Very nice. All right, well, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Enjoy the holiday season. Thank you very much, you as well. And that will do it for our show. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your holidays, and we'll see you next time around the peninsula.